Welcome back to New Vegas, everybody. Welcome back to the Mojave, where we are going over our final gun that we need to go over in Fallout New Vegas. And this is the Brush Gun, which is one of the most iconic guns in Fallout, I would say, at least in Fallout New Vegas. This is a weapon that can be found on quite a few different enemies. Hit squads tend to carry these. The NCR Rangers can carry these. You can also find certain high-leveled enemies, like the uh, White Legs can carry these at very high levels. I think the Lobotomites might be able to as well. I know they can carry the Hunting Revolver and the Hunting Shotgun. I think they can also carry the Brush Gun. I might be incorrect about that one. Marked Men can carry around the Brush Gun. It is a very powerful weapon and it's a pretty scary weapon when enemies have it. It can also be pretty scary when you have it though too. So the regular Brush Gun requires 100 guns and 6 strength to wield. Not too much strength. Uh, pretty high guns as you would kind of expect. This is an end game rifle. This one does 75 damage per hit, which is quite high. This one does 92 damage per second. This one doesn't shoot very fast. It actually has a fairly slow rate of fire. A bit faster than bolt actions, but not as fast as semi-auto rifles. This one does 75 crit damage, so very high crits. Has a one times crit modifier. Costs 33 action points to be using in VATS, making it okay for a VATS build, but not necessarily one of the best rifles. This one has very low spread at 0.06. Just like most of the lever actions and bolt actions, they have very low spread, and the brush gun is no exception to this. This only holds six rounds in the magazine, which kind of makes sense. It is firing the 4570 rounds, so it's a pretty big bullet. This one weighs five weight, which makes it actually pretty light and handy, which is kind of nice. And this one has 150 item HP, which isn't too bad, although it can go through that item HP fairly quick if you're loading the semi wad cutter rounds into it, since they break your gun three times faster. So if you're loading those in, you will probably need to repair the brush gun. Good thing about that is if you have something like jury rigging, you can just fix this up with, well, any regular rifle. So you can fix that with cowboy repeaters or varmint rifles or single shot shotguns, whatever it might be. For the general pros of the brush gun, this one has really high damage per shot, which is really nice. It has great ammo as well, the 4570, even though it doesn't have very many ammo types, the ammo types it does get are pretty good. And it also has really long range. It's good for fighting at long range. However, the sight can be a little bit strange to use on the regular brush gun. The footage in the background does not show the regular sight. This is a modded sight on there. It's pretty much the same one the medicine stick has, the unique version of this, which we'll talk about here in a second. But the regular brush gun sight is an aperture sight, and it is a pretty accurate real life aperture sight. It doesn't show you a whole lot, but it is still a little bit difficult to be using at kind of close to medium range. At longer ranges, it's fine. When enemies start getting close, I usually just end up hip firing this thing, which is uh, okay enough. It does well enough then. The major con of the brush gun is that this is a high level gun and ammo might be an issue for you. It depends on where you want to go. You can buy a lot of 4570 from a couple different vendors. The gun runners tend to sell a decent amount. The quartermaster with the NCR sells a decent amount. The comms tend to sell a lot. So you can still get it, but if you get a brush gun early on, it might be a little bit difficult for you to get ammo for it and kind of keep it repaired. And at least until you get like jury rigging where you can fix this, or if you're stockpiling weapon repair kits, then that can also help. For perks that help out with the brush gun, this one does get to use the cowboy perk, so you get 25% more damage on a weapon that already has really high damage. This is one of the highest damaging ballistic weapons in the game, so giving it 25% more damage is pretty nice, and I would recommend that you take that perk. And then we also have a couple different ammos that you can load into this. So we have the standard 4570 rounds. These might be the most common rounds. The hollow points might also be common to sell. It just kind of depends on the variety of which shop you're going to. 4570 do regular damage and have regular armor piercing. Nothing way crazy there. Hollow points give you more damage, but also give the enemy more armor. That might not be such a big deal since the brush gun has such high base damage. Hollow point rounds can actually be really good on most enemies, unless they are very heavily armored. But even then, you'll still hurt them with those hollow point rounds. And then you have the semi wad cutter rounds, which give you more damage, punch through armor, but break your weapon, like I said, three times faster. You can get this from the hand loader perk, and these ones can be pretty nice to load into. They're usually the ones that I go for, but sometimes I'll load hollow points into this too, depending on what enemy I'm fighting. Like, hollow point rounds are fantastic if you just want to one shot Kazdors and stuff. Even on the very hard difficulty, you can still kill them with that, no problem. This probably wouldn't be my go-to weapon for that job because full auto weapons and shotguns tend to be a bit better for that. For an overall rating for the brush gun, I would put this thing all the way up into A tier. I think it's very solid. It is a very good all-around gun. You could argue it to S tier and I really wouldn't dispute that. Although the only reason I'm not putting it up into S tier is because there is the unique version of the medicine stick. Before we talk about that, there is one mod that you can put on the brush gun too. This is a forged receiver and this will make it so that you get more item HP to your gun. I believe this is 50% more item HP which is pretty nice. I'm not going to put up another graphic on our tier list because I don't think this changes the brush gun that much. Just makes it so it doesn't break as fast. Now let's talk about the unique version, the medicine stick. This one comes with the Gunrunners Arsenal DLC and you can buy this one from the Gunrunners. 
So you will need a decent amount of money. This is one of the more expensive weapons. I think it's basically tied with the most expensive weapons. But assuming that you break the casinos or you break the economy in general, which you can do quite a few different ways in Vegas, you should be able to afford the medicine stick without too much trouble. This one requires 100 guns and 6 strength, same as the regular brush gun. This one does 78 damage per shot, 108 damage per second. This one has 78 damage on crits, has a 1x crit modifier, slightly better action points at 31, has the same spread at 0.06. This one has a larger magazine though. Instead of holding 6 rounds, this one actually holds 8 rounds, which is a huge improvement for the brush gun. This one also weighs slightly more at 5.5 weight. And this one does have more item HP at 200 item HP. It can still go through that item HP pretty quick if you're loading the semi wad cutter rounds into this, but every other stat on this is pretty solid. The sights are also different on the medicine stick as well, where on the other one you have the aperture sight, on this one you got the big ghost ring sight, which is much, much easier to use. It feels a whole lot better, and I would consider the medicine stick just a straight upgrade to the brush gun, holding more shots, having more item HP, having better sights. I think the medicine stick is also one of my favorite looking guns in this game because I love the Dreamcatcher tied to the back of it. I think that looks really cool, and just the silver and the black on it, that's always a good combination. Medicine Stick is just a straight upgrade to the brush gun, and I'd put it up a tier higher, up into S tier. I think it's one of the best guns in the entire game, assuming that you can get enough 4570 for it. Again, that might be a little bit of a, a problem early on, especially if you want to rush and get the Medicine Stick right away, then buying ammo from somebody like the Great Con Vendor might be a little bit uh, more pricey or a little bit more practical if you want to go over there and talk to them. And that'll do it for all of the guns and all of the weapons in New Vegas. I'm probably going to do a compilation of all the rifles, and then I'm probably going to do one major supercut of all of the weapons that we've talked about in New Vegas, because we went over all of them now. So be on the lookout for that in the next couple of days. That video is going to be massive. And thank you guys so very much for watching these. I really do appreciate them. There will be some more Fallout New Vegas content in the future, but I am also going to be moving over to some of the other Fallout games like Fallout 4 and Fallout 3 as well. I will likely be talking about all of these, just going back and forth between them. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.